Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome back to my channel. This is part three of my ceramic ornament series. Step by step, I'm going to show you exactly how I made this beautiful truck farmhouse themed ornament using ceramic tile, some vinyl, a 3D tree, some ribbon, jewellery bale and a bit of string. Now look at that. Firstly, you're going to need some Gorilla Glue very strong grip glue, some felt, I've already pre-cut with my maker, the arabesque tile I got from the hardware store in a sheet, these are jewellery bales I got from Amazon, a clothes peg, I found this tree pack in a pack of four from the dollar store, a piece of ribbon, a piece of twine or braid and some transfer paper. I use contact paper because it is cheaper by the roll and I pre-cut my truck on my maker as well. So firstly we're going to glue the jewellery bale onto the back of the ornament. Now I find that this glue does work really really well providing that you can peg it um, and leave it to dry and actually to set. I usually leave it to set overnight and that way I'm certain it's not going to fall apart the next day. So make sure you give yourself enough time to let this set overnight when it's completely dry then you can work on the rest the next day. So now I take my pre-cut vinyl sticker which is just two different layers there the white red and the black. I place my transfer sheet on the top and press it down and now I'm going to clean my surface. So you want to make sure that any surface that you put your vinyl onto is super clean. So just use some rubbing alcohol, paper towel or a cloth and make sure that surface is clean. This goes for if you're also putting like a sticker on a car window or something, make sure the surface is clean. It's gonna make your sticker stay stuck a lot longer. So then flip it over and peel the back off. I kind of like to eyeball it. Some people measure where they're gonna place their things. I generally wing it as you probably know by now if you've watched a few of my videos. And then you want to make sure that you press it down, making sure that you get out rid of all those bubbles, if there are any in there. So you take the Gorilla Glue again, flip the ornament over, and we're going to cover up the back because, as you can see, it's not very pretty. And I pre-cut the felt on my maker too. So you want to press that down, flip it back over. So then the tree I got from the dollar store I thought would be easy to cut, but my Cricut scissors did not work, so I had to use my special craft pliers which cut through that wire and then you take your twine thread it through the bale and tie a knot super easy to do there we go and just trim the edges there and then you take your ribbon now there are many ways to tie a bow this I've tried to make it as easy to see as possible you grab the loops, cross the loops, poke one loop through the hole and you should get a pretty perfect bow every time. You can buy your ribbons pre-tied but this way you have a lot more flexibility for what ribbon you use and you can cut it any length that you need for whichever project. I snip the edges and often I will also heat the edges a little bit with uh, a lighter just to melt the very edge of the ribbon and it just tidies it up and it stops the edges from fraying and some ribbons do fray more than others so that's really personal choice and again the Gorilla Glue just behind the bow there is going to attach that to your ornament. You want to press it down, careful not to glue your fingers as well and then again I like to peg it and leave it to dry. Well, thanks for watching today folks if you enjoyed making this farmhouse style truck ornament i'd love to hear about it in the comments and why don't you let me know what you've been making with these tiles have a great day